Hey everybody, what's going on? It is time for another Keep the Brain Fat video. And today we are doing rock candy. Now for this, you're gonna need just a few simple ingredients. You're going to need five cups of sugar. You're going to need two cups of water. You will need cake pop sticks or what are the skewers or you know something along those lines that can be your handle. You will also need four different colors of food coloring, five, six if you really wanna be crazy about it. You will also need four eight ounce mason jars. And last but not least, you're gonna need clothespins. Now that one might sound weird, but just wait. You're gonna see what that's all about. So the first step is to take your skewer or your cake pop stick or whatever it is that you're using for your handle, take that and simply dip it into the water. All you have to do, you dip it into the water, then set it on a plate, roll it around some sugar. If you really want to get it good, go ahead and actually pick up that sugar and sprinkle it on top. Make sure you get plenty of sugar on there. These are going to be your sugar stick seeds. That's right. These are going to be the seeds for your rock candy. We're going to plant them and they're going to grow. This is a step you're gonna need a little bit of help with because what we're going to do is you're going to take your water, you're gonna bring it to a boil, and you're going to add five cups of sugar to that water. What this is going to do is this going to make this super sticky, fun syrup, if you will, that will then be what grows. This will be kind of like if you plant a seed in the ground, you grow a flower, right? That dirt is what helps that seed to grow. This sticky syrup is going to be your crystal candy soil. Now before you do anything with your syrup, we're going to want all these fun colors of candy, right? In order to get your different colors of candy, what you're gonna do is you're going to take those food coloring droplets that you've got, Put some of those in each jar, maybe two, three, four drops, depending on how bright you want your colors to be. Once you have your food coloring in the jar, use a funnel or any sort of uh, you know, way of getting the syrup into those jars, pour it in. Now, remember when I told you that you needed those clothespins? Well, here's where they come in. We're going to take those clothespins and you're going to hook them onto each stick. You're going to set those clothespins on top of the mason jar. This way, your sugar can grow straight up and down instead of your stick sitting at a side angle and having it grow all weird like. And then the most fun and exciting thing happens. You wait for a week. Woo! That's right. Now it is time to wait and watch your rocks grow. But the longer you let it wait, if you can wait that whole week, that's when you're going to get the biggest and best rock candy. So as they're growing, something that's going to help them is if you just kind of gently move them. Simply just take it and slightly stir it around. You know, just a little something in order to make sure that it's getting that nice coating around the entire candy stick. Last but not least, Final step, once they've waited for a week, you've got real big, nice rock candy on there. The best step, take them out and enjoy. Remember, keep the brain fat. <laughs>